Hey everyone, this is Rachel from Chowdhury DSP. Today we'll be taking a look at the latest addition to the Chow Multi-Tool plugin, the Draw Your Own EQ Response feature. If you've seen the Chow Multi-Tool beta walkthrough, you might remember that Jatin demoed a free draw feature in the Chow Multi-Tool Wave Shaper that allows you to draw in your own unique transfer curves. We wanted to bring this fun drawable option to you in extended ways, so we've now made it possible to draw in your own desired EQ response in the Chow Multi-Tool 8-band EQ. Let's take a look at it in action. Simply navigate to the Chow Multi-Tool 8-band EQ, and in the top right-hand corner, you'll find a draw button. Selecting this will take you to our EQ draw view. Once you're in the draw view, you can begin drawing your desired EQ curve directly onto our user-friendly canvas. Perhaps you're after a resonant low-pass filter with a cutoff of around 1000 Hz. We can draw this in without having to be too precise, as we'll be able to adjust the parameters of our EQ bands once our optimizer has finished. So as I said, I'm going to draw a peak at around 1000 Hz, reaching around 12 dB, and attenuate all frequencies after. When it comes to translating your drawing response into EQ parameters, Chow Multi-Tool uses a built-in optimizer that analyzes your drawn EQ curve and intelligently adjusts the parameters of our 8-band EQ to align as closely as possible with your envisioned response. When we come to select the tick button to let the optimizer know we have finished drawing, we will see an iteration count appear on the screen. This is to let us know how many times the optimizer has had to run to approximate our drawn response. Once the EQ optimizer has finished, we are free to edit the parameters in any way we see fit. In this case, we might want to adjust the Q factor of the resonant peak to narrow the bandwidth of the peak and in turn steepen the slope of the cutoff. We can do this by selecting the band associated with the resonant peak and adjusting the Q factor. We can also switch between the draw view and the EQ view to see how closely the optimizer has managed to approximate our drawn response. When you're switching between views, remember to choose the cross button so that the optimizer doesn't re-optimize. We can just as easily use the EQ draw view to add simple boosts or cuts to our frequency spectrum. Here I've drawn in a boost of about 18 dB at 100 Hz. Let's optimize it and see what we get. You can see that with simple boosts or cuts, the optimizer works very quickly. Again, we can go in and adjust our EQ parameters to achieve the exact response that we'd like. Again, we can go back and forth between the draw view and the EQ view to see how closely we've approximated our desired response. Thank you so much for stopping by to learn about our new Chow Multi-Tool EQ Draw View feature. We're really looking forward to releasing this plugin. And if you have any suggestions, feedback or bugs you'd like to report, we'd love to hear from you. But most of all, we hope you enjoy using all the new features that Chow Multi-Tool has to offer.